Hello, uh, dear viewers, greetings from a HNZ Associates and good morning, afternoon and good evening, depending on where you are. Hope you are doing well and staying safe. As a part of our daily live session today, we have one of our prestigious university, the, uh, the Brunel University, London. And a quick introduction about Brunel University, uh, London. Uh, it is located in London, I'll say Brunel University, London, and it's, uh, it's less than 45 minutes from central London and just 15 minutes from Heathrow Airport. Uh, the uh, 2020 Times Higher Education World University ranking shows that Brunel University achieved top 400 uh, ranking in, a, in the whole world uh, with its international outlook recognized amongst the best uh, in the world ranking 34th in the global league table. It is also considered as a top 25% of the UK university for researchers, and 95% uh, of the course, which has a placement opportunities because Brunel University works with more than 8,000 companies around the world, uh, many of which support their students through the placement opportunities and mentoring as well. And as a part of the graduate employment, 93% of the uh, Brunel undergraduate students are employment or further study within six months time. Also, Brunel University have significant impact in professional uh, uh, sector in the UK. Over 2.2% of all senior management professionals in the UK uh, are produced by Brunel University. Uh, Brunel University London is ranked amongst top 50 by the Times Higher Education and World Ranking 2020. And it is also top 12 university according to the complete um, top 12 university in London according to the complete university guide 2020. Uh, the university uh, is proud to be one of the top 25 university in the world for international uh, students according to the Times Higher Education 2017. Uh, the campus accommodation is guaranteed for all of the international students for the first year so that they become part of the vibrant international community on their doorsteps. Accommodation facilities at Brunel University are also rated third best in the London um, according to the Time Higher Education 2017. Also, the sports uh, facilities are amazing and many national athletes using the sports facilities as well. Brunel Business School is also a renowned addition of the Brunel University and it is um, considered as a top five business school in the world and its engineering uh, at, uh, is second in London according to the Complete University Guide 2018. The university is home of approximately around 2,500 international students and offers a range of support services to meet their needs during their times at Brunel University and beyond the time as well, obviously. Each year, Brunel offers more than 100 scholarships to help international students actually earning university fees and the living cost. We have our guest here today for the Brunel University, Mr. Will Leo, International Manager of the Brunel University. Um, hi, Will. Uh, morning. Hi, Golan. Morning. A quick introduction about AHNZ Associates as well. AHNZ Associates established back 2012 and uh, at the moment we have around 15 brands around the world and having the head office in the uk as a part of the uh, our recruitments we worked uh, we served around 110,000 students in the last eight years of our journey during the time we have around 98 percent of our visa success due to the uh, professional services and dedicated the skill and the most of the, our colleagues are from the UK universities. It is also noted that uh, the virtual counseling session we are organizing today, the main intention is while the whole world is locked behind the bar, we cannot come and serve you physically and do the one-to-one -one session through the live uh, face-to-face uh, uh, -face as well. So this is an opportunity for the, all the students who are watching this, our live session for the Brunel University to understand the uh, universities, understand the facilities, understand the entry requirements as well, also scholarship facilities as well. At the same time, 
you can also raise all of your question you have about your profile and also we are happy to help you to proceed your admission to the UK University, especially for the Brunel University today. And uh, through this live session, we have the, uh, uh, through this live session, we have the, our contact details of our branch managers. Please take the number and give a call as well. They will be able to help you straight away as well. Let's uh, introduce uh, Will Liu, Liu and good morning. And thank you very much for joining with us from London, myself and you are both are in London, but we try to serve through this uh, modern technological developments to the whole world as much as we can. Let's we can ask, uh, we have introduced literally about the Brunel University, but it is a amazing campus, is everything in place, everything in a doorsteps of the university. I haven't seen many other university like this as well. Uh, myself, I visited many times in Brunel University as well and uh, accommodation and uh, cafes, restaurants, it's everything very uh, nearby. So a student doesn't need to travel far away uh, to take something as well. If I can, I would like to ask you, you've been working a long time with the Brunel University. What, what is your message to the student? Why you think that the student should consider to study at Brunel University? Sure, thank you, Colum. Um, hello, everybody. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a pleasure uh, to be here giving you a brief introduction about the university. Um, obviously, Brunel University is a, a London-based, one-campus university. So uh, as uh, Gollum mentioned, it's easy to get to central London, uh, also Heathrow Airport. So for those students who are flying in uh, to UK, normally to Heathrow Airport, it would be easy to get to the campus. Uh, on campus, uh, we have all the facilities that students need. So uh, from supermarket, uh, cafes, restaurants, uh, bars and a, a bank and medical centers, a prayer rooms, all these things uh, what students need and we have on campus. We also have a, a, the world-class sports facilities. Um, so um, you've probably seen it uh, from our website. Um, we have a, a multicultural community at Brunel University. Uh, at the moment, we, I think we, the number has increased. We have over 3,100 international students from okay. more than uh, 110 countries, uh, yeah, you know, from Argentina to Zimbabwe, A to Z. Uh, we're vi um, you know, a vibrant, welcoming, multicultural community. Uh, yes, so uh, it, uh, we welcome you from any part of the world to come to join us uh, to study and enjoy your student life. Uh, many subject areas, uh, Brunel has very strong, um, I mean, the recognition as well. And what are the, how many faculties uh, do Brunel University has? Sure, uh, we have uh, three faculties, uh, College of Business, Arts and Social Sciences, uh, College of Engineering, Design and of Physical Sciences, and the uh, College of Health and Life Sciences. So three faculties. Uh, we offer uh, many programs from uh, business, accounting, uh, finance, or biomedical sciences, physiotherapy, engineering, all sorts, aeros aerospace, mechanical, civil engineering, uh, digital media, etc. Uh, yeah, many programs we offer on campus here. It's one of the important thing, uh, Mr. Will, uh, I have seen like, as I also uh, told, 95% uh, of the course has a place and opportunities because I found like Brunel University is more focused on industry <coughs> and uh, how to, to deliver the professionals as well and has a huge impact in a professional industry Bunel has been making over the period of time. And uh, what is the um, secret on it? Because none of the university I feel like and do not have the 95% of the place and opportunities. Obviously this is a, a place and opportunities is a great addition for the international students. While they came to study here, they also taking the work experience, boosting their CVs, and understand the, how the uh, professional industry works as well. Now, what is the secret behind of it? Sure. Um, obviously, uh, Brunel University, we have very close links with many industries, uh, world-leading companies, uh, you name it. Uh, and also, because our location, uh, we're quite close to central London. So uh, um, again, a lot of employers would be happy to offer the placements to the university students. Um, yeah, as you said, we 90% of our programs offer placements. So for 
uh, undergraduate programs. For example, students after they have done uh, the year two program, they can choose this one year placement, which is a, a, a paid by the employer. So not only you can get paid for uh, during this year, but also uh, you have an you know, un invaluable experience you can get. Uh, so after that, you come back to do your final year um, under year three programs. And then a lot of students, even they secure that uh, jobs after the, they have done the placement. So when they come back to the year three, they already have a contract uh, in hand uh, to continue their study, so which is uh, a really promising uh, thing. Uh, in terms of the uh, placement for postgraduate study, uh, our, our students can have the choice of doing three or four months uh, placement after the 12 months study, or uh, they also can uh, do a 12 month long placement again, just like uh, um, you know undergraduate, they can have a, a year long paid um, placement, also get experience after the study. So uh, just to uh, also, uh, it's worth mentioning uh, with the, this extra year of study, uh, it's covered by the tier four visa. So you, you don't need to uh, apply for visa. It's already Correct. included yeah. in your tier four study. Yes. Yes. So uh, viewers, as a part of the placement opportunities, <laughs> I believe you're not paying any fees uh, extra, as a, I mean, uh, like the other tuition fees, but you may pay a little administrative charge. Am I right? Yes. Uh, for so students who are taking this uh, 12 months long placement, uh, yes. university only ask them to pay uh, 1,300 pounds something like admin uh, fees. So um, it is really uh, trivial compared to the salary you, know, uh, you, know, you get during the placement. Yes. <coughs> because it is a great opportunity, I would say, uh, for the international students, not many university in, uh, in and around London offering the 95% of the placement opportunities of the courses. And also, while well, because the university is situated in uh, within a London and a very close to the central London as well, and over 8,000 companies they are partnership with, which is a really, really amazing opportunity for international students to secure the placement opportunities while they, you guys are taking the degree. It is also important to tell while you uh, are uh, in contact with any employee, uh, employers, most of the cases the placement is. Uh, paid most of the cases so you could have literally earned quite good money as well and i shouldn't say but once if you uh, if you have a third year placement obviously if you are paid placement you can cover your tuition fees for final year um taking any money from your home country i would say am i right uh yes i, I think i have personally uh spoken to some student who uh, are doing a placement or who have completed that placement? Uh, yeah, some some of them are paid uh, fifteen or sixteen thousand pounds a year, uh, oh. which is uh, quite good, uh, you know, compared to many uh, other jobs uh, in in the industry. Um, yeah, so um, as you said, a lot of them if they have done the placement, that can help them greatly to their study. Right. In terms of the entry requirements. As we have told lots about the Brunel University. So how a student can get through? Because uh, I know different university got a different country, got a different entry requirements, big, different grading system as well. If you can tell overall how it's going to work and how the student will be able to secure these placements. Sure. Um, uh, okay. in ter yeah, in terms of entry requirements, obviously it differs uh, by the countries. Uh, I would just mention uh, maybe India as, a, as an example. So for students who can get onto our undergraduate programs, uh, Indian students, we need students to uh, pass the standard a 12 year with 72% from five subjects. And these are those who appear in the boards like CBSE, CISCE, Tamil Nadu, and um, Maharashtra boards. Uh, for students who um, get results from other boards, I need to pass um, the standard 12 with 82% overall. Uh, this is for the undergraduate study uh, and, and academic results. In terms of English requirement, uh, depending on the subject you are doing, uh, it's ranging between six, IELTS 6.0 uh, and 7.0. Um, for the um, postgraduate study, uh, normally we need students to have completed four year bachelor degree and with the average um, 
I think that is the equivalent to UK 2.2 uh, owners uh, degree. I, I think uh, percentage wise around 75%. So this yes. is a general guidelines and not necessarily for each individual. So we probably will uh, make offer uh, case uh, on a case by case basis. Yes. So it is also important for the uh, viewers to know that if the university uh, cannot take you direct entry as well, if you undergrad, I mean, your secondary education is really low uh, to meet the entry requirements, the university work with the, one of the partner uh, is called Navitas. Navitas also work combined with the Brunel University for the student to offer the foundation year. You will not have any extra hassle once you come planning to come at the UK University because and the Brunel University because the foundation course will be combined with your main course. You will have a single cast letter or a sponsor letter. You will not have any further hassle uh, to study for the uh, to the Brunel University. Also, if you are looking for the masters and your bachelor degree is not up to the mark, the university, I mean the Navitas partner. Uh, can also offer you the pre-masters and you can come pre-masters and masters together as well. So your dream will not be uh, like uh, destroyed. You can definitely secure a place in the Brunel University under these arrangements. So one of the important thing uh, about the currently, as you said, uh, IELTS requirements, uh, the pandemic situation, the, we all in locked situation, you cannot go out and we don't really know the local IT center or Pearson center when they will start taking the test as well. And the uh, September intake also very close by as well. So what is in your mind, how this student can overcome this uh, situation as well? And what do you feel or do you have any alternative offer for the students? Um, uh, sure, um, obviously the university fully understand uh, our students uh, across the world, uh, you know, that, uh, different situations. A lot of IELTS centers or other uh, language centers are closed because of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and because of these, we, we have uh, uh, taken certain procedures. We have um, recently uh, published a, a, a list of the language tests we accept, uh, most recently including uh, some Duolingo, uh, password, uh, IELTS indicator, all these tests that can be done uh, uh, online at home for a lot of students. So uh, uh, yeah, if you uh, can't take IELTS, don't worry. There are many ways that can help you. Uh, you can take our test and we will accept the, the results. Um, also, our university offer uh, our own English language test, which is called uh, Brunel. Um, okay. So previously, this has been only offered on campus. But now, mm -hmm. because of this COVID-19 uh, pandemic, we have started delivering it online. So okay. there is a link to, uh, on the, uh, our Language Center website that you can register uh, your interest uh, and then, um, <laughs> yeah, and take. So I think it's, it's uh, going to be offered uh, once a week uh, already from uh, between of the middle of May until August. Okay, I believe it is a very fantastic opportunity for the student. Those uh, plan to study at the Brunel University London, they can uh, directly get the upper letter. After getting the upper letter, you can book your place as well for the internal English test. And not many university offer such an opportunity as well. Once you pass the approved level of the compared to IELTS, then the university will exempt you from IELTS as well. And, can I happy to offer you the for the program? And uh, do you charge for this internal English test or anything? No, uh, it's completely free for our own students. So whoever, uh, if you haven't taken or you're thinking to take any language test, now is the time to register uh, the, U the university website. So uh, previously, we we send staff to certain countries like India, like China, uh, mm. to, to to host this test. But now because this nineteen COVID nineteen, so we have to. Uh, uh, alternative. Yes. Yes. So, um, as you said, uh, do, uh, you are uh, already have multiple uh, tests. You are, I mean, the considering. Do you accept Barson test? Barson is your alternative uh, Pearson test. I will need to uh, check, double check on that. 
let me know after this uh, uh, event. Sure, sure. I'll, I will get back to you so that you because can. The Pearson company, you know, the Pearson, the yep. UO, actually, yep. yeah. So their online is called Barson Test as well. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I will find out for you. Okay. After these. And uh, in terms of the, I have seen before, uh, even uh, from Bangladesh as well, many of the university, many of the uh, students got the medium of instruction on the base of this letter. I mean, uh, because they have been, uh, their bachelor degree was a mood of instruction, medium was in English. That is why uh, university has exempted uh, from there uh, to submit any IELTS or anything. So do you have any format or any specific information on this case? Uh, sorry, what was the case again? Um, I Reading of instruction, like if they completed their bachelor degree yep. uh, back home and the medium of study was in English, yep. is on the base of this, do you accept the students as well? Uh, I can't say we accept all the students, but we, we will take each video uh, case, uh, you know, and into consideration. We do have some uh, cases that for certain students who have completed that degree uh, from a certain institution with the medium in English, uh, um, for some of these students, and also if they have been working in the English speaking environment, we have waived that English language, uh, language requirements. So yet, I, I mean, welcome you to apply and let us know all the thing uh, related to your situation, we will take everything into account. Yes. Yes, uh, viewers. As uh, Lee said, uh, Mr. Will, I uh, said that uh, you can make an application because um, I think uh, if you compare to America, Australia, or Canada, or other countries, the UK is the country where most of the university, uh, none of the university, I would say, are uh, charging for the application. So if you make the initial application based of the your academic requirements based of the your profile the university can judge your case and can give you the proper guidance what you need to do and if you are not meeting the entry requirements directly they they can add the foundation year or pre-masters also if you are not meeting the english requirements as well the university has multiple option to offer you a place as well within the university uh, limits so it is an opportunity for you to make the application. Once you make the application, then you can choose which university could be best for you as well. Right. And uh, once one of the cases uh, mostly I've seen in South Asia, I would say, after the uh, 12 classes, they got like one or two years gaps quite common. And how would you um, say on this case, do you accept any gaps in terms of the undergrad and what about master degree? Um, sure, um, uh, we fully understand certain student situation, and for students who have this kind of experience, that uh, we will welcome to apply, and we'll assess that uh, application status. You know, uh, again, uh, by individually. Uh, normally, we we encourage students to apply unless your gap is really uh, long. Uh, you know, over three years and. Uh, and, and you can't explain what happened during that time. Uh, so it, as long as you can explain why, uh, you know, the, the gap is and what have you, you have been doing, uh, we will take that into consideration uh, and uh, assess your application. And I'd love to ask you about something about the accommodation because sure. it is a, a, the design of the university is, um, is not like usual like other universities. As I said in my introduction as well, is everything in one place. How um, you can say about the accommodation facilities for the all the international students, how it works as well? Sure. Um, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we are a one campus university in London, uh, but we have all the uh, um, student accommodation on campus. We have over 4,500 rooms on campus so that's considering it's a, a university in yeah. london that's yeah. that's incredible and also the price wise in terms of the uh the cost of the living campus a majority of our uh rooms are en suite and in average cost about 150 pounds per week again that's a very reasonable uh, com uh compared to many other accommodations uh, in london area um yeah so we guarantee accommodation for our international students for the du entire duration of their study. So if you're doing undergraduate study, uh, we guarantee your accommodation 
for the entire three or four years. Uh, for if you are a postgraduate, obviously we guarantee you the entire uh, duration of your study for 12 months. Uh, as long as you apply before the deadline, which is um, end of August every year. Uh, so you have plenty of time um, to um, check and apply. Right. So in terms of the fees wise, and uh, what is the average tuition fee for undergrad and what is about what are masters? Sure. Um, I mean, tuition fee wise, um, I think it, uh, it depends on which subject yeah, you were doing. Exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, and also whether you do an undergraduate or postgraduate, um, it's ranged between 15,000 pounds to uh, 19,000 pounds majority. I think only for MBA, the case is twenty-two thousand eight hundred pounds. Yeah, because it's one of the global uh, reputed MBA. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So these are all the fees uh, for the twenty twenty this September entry. Uh, the fees may increase little uh, next year, uh, but that's a, a current uh, uh, price you can find from the website. Okay, and the most of the demandable question about the scholarships. And I know that Brunel University offers over 100 of scholarships to the international students for their funding, for the fees and the accommodation as well. And uh, would you be able to uh, tell about the scholarships to the international student or that you maintain a deadline or how it works, what is the way to apply as well? Sure. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, our accommodation uh, cost is very reasonable. Uh, and that's probably the major part of your expense. Uh, every month. Uh, um, I think when you apply for visa, you probably know the certain rules you need to uh, stick to, uh, you know, the London allowances, how much you uh, expend to spend. I think uh, around £9,000 a year in terms of living expenses. Um, for scholarship, uh, we offer a wide range of scholarships for international students. Uh, some of these scholarships are country specific. So for students from certain countries, um, I think there's only one scholarship I want to stress here. Uh, it's called International Excellence Scholarship. Uh, every year we have over 100 awards. Uh, okay. it's, it's being offered in two phases. Uh, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the phase one has uh, completed uh, at okay. the end, end of April. But uh, to ensure you, it is still open from uh, for phase two. The deadline is uh, end of June. So okay. if you... If you are offer holder uh, and you really want to join us, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, we welcome you to apply for this international excellence scholarship. Uh, yes, the students who are successful will be notified uh, accordingly. So for students, I think we are just about to send out those emails to uh, students who are successful in the phase one stage. Okay. What is the range of the scholarship for the international? It is six thousand pounds okay. per person per year. So okay. for students who are doing undergraduate study, we offer six hundred pounds for up to three years. Oh my gosh! Okay. De depending on obviously uh, depending on the uh, situation, for the uh, postgraduate student, obviously we offer six thousand pounds deduction so uh, if, from your if study. Someone want to uh, have a very good academic grades. Yes. And planning to study at uh, Brunel University. Yes. If they achieve this, the tuition fee is coming less than ten thousand pounds. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Six hundred pounds is is not a small amount. So, yeah. uh, compared to tuition fees, almost one third of it uh, is being deducted. So that can help you save a lot of money. It is a our uh, viewers. It is a great opportunity uh, that Brunel University offers uh, the huge amount of international excellency um, scholarship. It could be up to six thousand pound for every year of your bachelor program. So if you're planning to study at Brunel University, uh, please do contact our colleagues. And the number has been given through this uh, uh, live link as well. And the colleagues should be able to help you out as well further to secure your scholarship. One of the important thing about making the application on time is the main fact. We're gonna come back with this question again a bit later. And how the installment plan worked, uh, Will? Sure, um, obviously all the students have the option to pay uh, the tuition fee in installments. Uh, okay. Before this, I'm, I want to mention, if you can pay in full, there's a 2% mm. of discount okay. of a tuition fee. But <laughs> if, you, if you decide to pay by installment, we normally yeah. uh, allow students to pay 60% of the 
upon registration, mm. and then for September entry, uh, September. So for uh, and then forty percent, the rest of it uh, can be paid in January. Right. That's by two installments. Yes. So uh, due to the COVID nineteen. As uh, normally, Brunel University, every time uh, someone goes to uh, Bangladesh and or India or all our partner branches as well, all of our the branches, they visit and do the lots of uh, events as well. But this year, unfortunately, we couldn't do anything at all. And uh, how, uh, what are you going to say? And what is the university's uh, points of view in this case? Um, yeah. In terms of the... Uh, September intake, whether you're planning to run or what is the uh, what is the advice and what you feel about the university's point of view? Sure. Uh, again, at university, we have been uh, um, uh, sort of closely monitoring the situation, how this is developing. Uh, we've been following the government's uh, guidance on uh, all the uh, procedure we need to take. For example, at the moment, the campus is closed. But we still have some students living on accommodation. Okay. We have about 1,300 students living uh, on campus. And out of those, about 300 international students. So they cannot go back to where they're from for these or that kind of reason. Or some students are uh, doing that postgraduate study, the dissertation stage. They have to be here. But they are well looked after by small number of uh, uh, key uh, university staff, uh, security, maintenance staff. Uh, they, they still have access to the supermarket, uh, the canteen, so yeah. they can be well fed. Um, in terms of overall how university um, respond to the COVID-19, um, uh, actually, on one hand, university has been um, providing our assistance to the NHS. So a lot okay. of our uh, faculty have been supporting the NHS, I think some 3D printers they've been doing, uh, 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 helping uh, NHS to uh, uh, produce a lot of um, uh, uh, PPE, uh, personal pr protection equipment. Okay. And uh, a lot of the staff have been volunteering uh, to help uh, the certain NHS or, or care homes or what, whatever we can. Uh, in terms of staff or students, we universally want to ensure that uh, uh, every place will be, uh, you know, every procedure in place. So we uh, have put in place a lot of uh, measures to tackle these in prepare preparation for the, you know, uh, one campus reopen. So we uh, that, that will happen in one day. I want all the students and staff uh, to to feel safe. Uh, you'll be safe to to study and do and do whatever you want uh, as as usual uh, from this September. And we have recently confirmed uh, our term date, which is yeah. uh, tw 21st of September as the registration starts. And then 28th of sep September, a week later, there'll be when the teaching starts. Do you have any plan to defer these uh, like a period? Uh, because I've seen many universities putting the intake date in October. Do you have anything in place or are you planning to change the date? Sure. For, for the time being, uh, we are hoping to open the campus and start yep. registration on 21st of September. Okay. If there is anything happen between now and then, touch wood, I, I hope they won't. Uh, we, we will take you know, action accordingly. Um, from September, uh, beyond the registration, a lot of programs, we have this, we decided to offer it in dual delivery which means yeah. a lot of the programs will be offered not only on campus, but also for those students who can't make to campus or because online, of this yeah. or that kind of reason, uh, they can access the teaching online. Okay. So this option is there if they're worried, but also uh, the student can access to the campus. Yes. Uh, viewers, we both are uh, talking from the UK and uh, we can tell you about COVID-19 situation here as well. The situation here slowly um, planning to get back to normal. Last few days, it is uh, really sharply, I would say, flattening. So we are quite hopeful. The universities are also quite hopeful about the September intake. And uh, we are also planning that everything will go accordingly 
as per the plan of the universities as well. However, if the situation and um, again uh, peak, uh, second peak or anything, any unexpected situation, of course, the university is considering all the measures they need to take. So we don't have to worry. Being an international student, while you are in the locked uh, behind the bar at home, this is your opportunity to do the virtual counseling with our colleagues. Our colleagues will be able to support you once you give a call. They will be able to help you out as well. What are the steps you need to follow? Also, you are not required to submit. Uh, do you just wondering from you as well? Do you require to submit a reference letter? How is going to work? Because the student cannot uh, go to the tutor or to the workplace to get the references. Uh, are you asking how the students will About get the, to... you know the reference letter? Sometimes is a part of your offer letter. Yes. So um, do you have any exemption on it at the moment? I think uh, students are welcome to apply even without the reference letters. I think it's only for certain programs is is compulsory, like MBA, for example, where work experience is, is you know is critical. Uh, a lot of our programs will consider student application without references. Yes. Right. As uh, Mr. Will said that uh, you do not need to have a reference letter as well. At the moment, you can make initial application. To make an initial application, you are required to have a copy of your passport and your academic qualification. If you have this, that will be sufficient to get the offer letter as well. That would be sufficient to make the application for the over 100 scholarships, international excellence scholarship as well. And you could be also on the part to secure up to 6,000 pounds scholarships. The deadline of the scholarship is end of June. So it is a good time for you to make the application. Obviously, due to the post-study work visa, the number of the applications in the university, every university is facing large number of applications. So if you apply early, you are stepping ahead of your application as well. And as a right, as a student, I was a student as well before. So I would say the early you come. And everything is uh, in place for you, running smoothly as well. You will not face any difficulties the last moment, while every applicant will ask for the cash letter and you have long queue on there as well. Like, Mr. Will, we've been working a long time. AHZ has become part of the uh, Brunel University London for a long time. And what is your experience to the viewers? Um, yeah, um, for those uh, viewers that, uh, yeah, just to assure you that we've been working with AH and Z Associates for a long time and uh, their staff are all very uh, professional and knowledgeable. So they can give you all the advice you need from the planning, uh, what to apply, how to apply. And then after their uh, successful application, they, they can advise you how to apply for visa, what to apply for accommodation, et cetera, on scholarship, etc. So yeah, they are the pers person that you can trust and go to. Uh, we keep uh, close uh, communication with each other. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, feel free to contact them. Yes, uh, thank you. We can take some questions, is okay? So we have a question from Lexi Hilton. Uh, say, please accept my application and admit me. We love to. We are uh, here to help you as well, uh, to get the application as well. My CGPA is just 2.5, but I'm studying in university. Right. So we actually don't know, first of all, like, uh, are you looking for something undergrad or masters? This is the one of the case we don't know. You have not actually mentioned even, uh, right, yes. You did not mention like, what is your current qualification and from which country you are from. This is the true information we need to assess your application, I would say. If, if the university cannot accept you directly, we can definitely offer you a place through the foundation here if you're planning to study bachelor degree. If you're looking for the master degree, the university definitely will offer you Brunel University sponsor CAS with the pre-masters. So you do not have to worry and you will definitely will be able to secure a place at Brunel University. The best thing is please do contact our colleagues. They will be happy to help you as well to find the option for you as well. Do you want to say something on it, please? Sure. Uh, 
um, I can see the question from Lexi is about, uh, yeah, it's a very specific question. Uh, unfortunately, I can't let you know now because to assess the application, we need uh, all the information from you, including where you're from, where you've been studying, what, quali what qualification you have, and also uh, whether you have um, taken certain language tests, for example, uh, and work experience. So uh, unfortunately, I can't give you a definite answer over here, but I will encourage you to apply uh, only yeah. when you submit a formal application, then can we, uh, you know, let you know definitely whether you 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 can be accepted uh, on the place or not. Okay. Right. <coughs> As a postgraduate social work student, am I allowed an opportunity for the placement after my master's year, then return to complete my program? That means how the placement works for master degree. If you can explain. Right. Well, first of all, I think for social work, um, it may be kind of uh, different because, um, as I mentioned, we majority of our uh, programs offer that 12 months placement after the study. But for social work, I think part of study is in placement. So um, I, I think in that situation, you probably don't have to worry about uh, opportunity for, for placement because uh, the, your for you, placement may be guaranteed uh, as a part of your study. Does that does that make sense? Yes. So your placement is a part of your study. You do not need to think that you are going and completing and coming back this and that. If you are in the middle of the placement, if your employer already offer you a job, you may go only for part time and uh, complete your uh, dissertation. Soon you complete your dissertation, you may look for the full time as well. I would say. Yeah, but for majority of the postgraduate students, the placement is after their study. It's not yeah. like undergraduate student after year two. Yeah. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It, yeah, it's for social work postgraduate is different. Yeah. Yes. Right. So one of these students completed higher secondary from, uh, is most likely from Bangladesh and got the GPA 3.58 IELTS of all six will be expired in August 2020. Is it possible to do direct entry in undergrad tissue fee per year? How much pay first year to go? Very specific okay. question. Uh, yeah, thank you for the question. Um, uh, again, in terms of your uh, average GPA, 3.58 looks quite good. Again, I can't let you know uh, definitely you be accepted. Uh, but uh, it looks quite promising results, so I welcome you to apply. Uh, with regards to your IELTS, it says overall six, expiring in August. Uh, that's something I can let you know. Uh, depending on the subject you're applying for, if the program requires IELTS six, uh, providing um, your IELTS is, uh, yeah, it's been uh, expiring in August, we accept the results. I, th I think in terms of IELTS, we uh, normally uh, there is expiry uh, date for two within two years. But because this year COVID nineteen, we uh, I think our language uh, center have agreed to uh, accept those students with uh, three years IELTS. So even if your okay. IELTS okay, expired, you didn't tell yes, me. I forgot to tell you. Sorry. <laughs> but now, well, so that's why I said it's a really good question. So for these, yeah. we allow students to have the IELTS older than two years, but still within three years. Yes. Yep, does uh, that make sense? Yep. Yes, Mr. Sh <coughs> Mr. Shaipul is very important. <coughs> Sorry, the question. And uh, to explain for you a little bit more, if you even the, it is expiring on six, uh, I mean August, you do not have to worry for this at all because you already have the certain label of, of the IELTS. And the university will be very happy to accept it as well. University in the cast letter would say they have um, assess you and they feel that you have a B2 level of English, which is required for the course as a part of the entry requirements. So once the university will write down in this format in the CAS, it will not impact your B's as well. So you do not have to worry for this, whether it's expiring or not. What is the best advice for you is do contact our team and our team will be able to help you further. Uh, in terms of tuition fee per year, how much pay? Uh, again, I don't know what programs you are going to, uh, you're planning to study. Uh, it, it, if it's undergrad, it's between 15,000 pounds to 19,000 pounds something. 
uh, as long as it's not, um, I think, uh, for MBA, which is twenty thousand pounds per year. Uh, yes. So I hope that uh, clarifies. Yes. 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 Also, if you planning to come, if you the tuition be slightly higher, but that's for the university is not actually higher as well. I would say. But if you are coming through the placement year as well, so you are paying literally for three years. But you are getting for visa of four and a half years, around four and a half years as well. So the third year you will have opportunity to get the employment and uh, get the placement opportunities and earn the money, also gain the experience. So you can also take this advantage as a part of the uh, of your undergraduate program. And also the second question you had about uh, whether you will plan to study computer science and engineering or biology. Look, this is something that you need to counsel. You need a, a, a career counselor. Most of our colleagues are studied at the UK university, so they know very well about the course and about the course outcome. They can discuss with you about your career plan, which course you specifically feeling better in a other your IT course or biology in your HSC higher secondary. On the base of this, what you expect in future to become, what is your long term career vision? And we, uh, the council will discuss strongly about it and can obviously can promote or offer you something that that could be something better for you as well. At the end of the day, it is your life, it is your career. So you are the person who decide which one will go for you. And I would uh, encourage you to contact our counselors who will be able to help you further. IELTS undergrad program. I think most cases. Is six no less than five point five? Uh, some are six point five, depending yes, on the, the subject, yeah. like a like a law or some business programs. Undergrad, we need IELTS six point five, um, and also yeah, for individual is five point five. But uh, obviously, that's based on you if you can take IELTS test. Uh, at the yeah, same time, absolutely. we also accept other language tests. So yes. we just just need to uh, to provide the test, and we'll let you uh, you know cross check with the IELTS. Result. See if you meet the entry requirements. Yes. So the main important thing, as uh, Mr. Will said, that uh, the Brunel University accepting uh, Brunel is own internal English test. So after getting the offer letter, the university will offer you a test that you can do from home. And if you pass this, the university will exempt you to sit for the IELTS and this hassle you don't have to go through. So uh, I would say again that do contact our colleagues and they will be able to help you out as well for your admissions. Radio therapy course in your university. If yes, uh, I have my diploma in diagnostic radio therapy from Nepal. I'm living in London. Can I apply for the Brunel University? Do you have radio therapy? If you can, not as I know of. Um... Mm. Yeah, I don't think we have that program uh, uh, being offered at, at the moment. Uh, yeah, we probably offer physiotherapy, occupational therapy, uh, things like that. Um, but I mean, you're welcome to uh, visit when it's open, visit AHNZ uh, and Z Associates or contact Gollums and his team yes. regarding so this if you live in London. Somebody is there as well. If you are currently living in London, uh, you say you can't live in London. You can also uh, give a call to the number and they'll be able to help you as well further. Right. Uh, I'm going to take two more questions, three more questions, actually. Uh, my wife is a business student, business study, but she wants to change the career to social work. Is it possible? Uh, Mr. Imran, Again, uh, you need to have a proper justification why after starting a course, why she needs to move to the, uh, I mean, the social work as well. If you can justify, if your wife can justify through the personal statement, the uh, university can look into it. Again, if you are the international students, there are slightly bit complexity in terms of your visa as well, because once you came in the UK, you have answered uh, some questions to the anti clearance officers and to the admission officers and also submitted your personal statement about your long term visions. So if you're planning to change now, that will have a significantly impacting impact your career and you have to have a proper justification why you wanted to change your 
uh, career to social work now. Will do you want to say something on it? Um, yeah, uh, as I know, um, uh, social work, you might need to uh, uh, provide the evidence of you have some experience, work experience yeah. in the area. Yeah. So not only just by academic uh, qualification. So uh, as Gollum mentioned, first of all, you need to justify why, have, because you've been studying business and you want to switch to social work, uh, you need to address that in the personal statement. Uh, on, this, as, uh, on the other hand, as a part of a uh, entry requirement, we might need you to provide the evidence of working uh, in the area, not business, but related to social work. Right. And uh, okay, we'll go for the last one for the day. Uh, uh, okay, that's all actually. Thank you very much. We'd love to see you uh, in Brunel University. Please do make application quick as possible and seek your replace. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, completed P honors CGP 2.66. I have no IELTS. I want to do a study master's program. Yes. Um, without IELTS, uh, I will encourage you to apply because not yes. uh, every single applicant has IELTS results before they apply. Uh, you can always apply now uh, when you provide all the academic documents, including your BA honors degree. Uh, and it's at the same time, uh, well, we will consider your application. If we are happy with your academic uh, qualification, we will make you a uh, condition offer subject to achieving IELTS or other language te test, including our own test uh, results, if you can take. Um, yes, that, that, that would be the, uh, my answer. Yes, so hello, uh, Ahmed Monju. You do not need to worry about anything as well again. Please do contact our counselor. Our counselor, our advanced manager will be there to help you out as well. The number has been given through this live session link. You can pick the number and give a call which area you are located in. If you are from Bangladesh, you've got a four branches in Bangladesh. If you are from India, we've got a two branches in two major cities, in Mumbai and Kerala as well. And if you are uh, from any other country, or Sri Lanka, Nepal, you can also try to contact the number as well. Uh, the number is been given. Or if uh, if you are currently in the UK as well, the number also, UK number is also there, right? And the last question of the day, if any student got 5.5 in IELTS test, they can be able to enroll electrical and electronic engineering with this score. More importantly, due to COVID-19 learners not capable to take IELTS exam, do you have any plan to consider English requirements? And also, I want to know, do you accept Duolingo English test for getting admissions? I think, Very, uh, I I yes. think I have covered most of these uh, yeah. from uh, what, I, what I mentioned earlier. Um, if you, let's say I, I'll answer one by one. Uh, for electrical electro, electronics engineering, we need IELTS six point five. So with these five point five, uh, unfortunately, I don't think you can enter the program directly. So because of that, you need to either take uh, retake IELTS or other English language tests, or there's another option. We still have our uh, online processional English course being offered because uh, for 5.5, you need to reach the gap one point IELTS. Uh, there's still, I think, 10 weeks or uh, some IELTS English. Requirement six for engineering, am I right? Sorry? For engineering, IELTS requirement six? Uh, I think for software engineering, 6.5. Uh, I okay. need to double check. There may be six or six point five, depending on okay. uh, which which area of engineering. I'm not hundred percent sure here, but it, uh, there is a gap between you and what you what we need. So you need to uh, either take the pre-sessional uh, English course that we offer online, or retake other language tests. We do accept uh, Duolingo, as I mentioned. Uh, there's a I think, but I think for Duolingo because it's not uh, being assessed in all four areas, you know, listening, speaking, uh, uh, but there is a general overall score we need you to achieve. So you, if you can take the Duolingo and then send the results to us, we will uh, um, uh, compare to our requirement and let you know whether you are uh, qualified. I think the best, uh, Mr. Kazi, why not try for the um, Brunelt uh, uh, internal English test? Leave your IELTS aside and submit a, your offer letter and try to uh, get the uh, pass through the internal English test. You're not paying any money at all, but you can you can take a chance. If you are not actually passing 
the Buell, uh, Brunel test, internal English test. Then you can submit IELTS and also SQL for the teacher's English, or you can also try for the Duolingo as well. Again, you have a sufficient time as well to make the early application. Also to apply for the up to 6,000 pound scholarships uh, for the international excellency as well. So do contact our colleagues. And uh, before we are going to end our live session, um, Mr. Will, would you like to say something to the viewers about COVID-19 and the pandemics and uh, wishing anything at all, please? Um, yeah, um, thank you for all, all, all you guys tuning in. Um, yeah, just to assure you, uh, we understand uh, this pan COVID-19 pandemic uh, and the situation. It seems that in the UK, it is improving. So we are all, all optimistic. Uh, in, in, you know, everything will go back to normal uh, in September. Uh, this is probably why we recently confirmed our term date. So uh, assuming everything will be uh, going back to normal, uh, we expect you to uh, apply and and then apply for accommodation scholarships uh, and in terms of later on this visa issue uh, so you uh, yep our university will provide every support we can to you and uh, H and Z associates um, so if, if you have any queries anything uncertain uh, feel free to contact Gollum or myself um, university will uh, have everything uh, considered we have put in place certain uh, measures to ensure the students and staff's safety. Uh, yeah, we'll get through this. So uh, at the same time, no matter where you are uh, in the world, uh, stay safe. Um, yeah, hope to see yeah. you soon. Yes, uh, thank you uh, viewers. Thank you very much. It was our pleasure to help you out as well to represent uh, Brunel University's live session today. And I believe this session give you much understanding about the university, about the entity requirements, about the English issues, about the scholarship uh, facilities as well, and about the uh, installment process, accommodations, everything. We have tried to cover the questions you might have in your mind and you don't know the answer. So it is our opportunity for you to come towards your door. And now it is your time to wake up and to start processing application as well. As you say, as you said there, we are came towards your door to help you out to process to your career. If you are stuck and if you say, okay, let's wait for the pandemic goes and then we'll go. You are literally walking behind uh, of the other students. We all working from home. The universities, they are also working from home. So if you have the whatever the documents you have, do contact our colleagues and our colleagues, our branches, they're all working from home as well. And they will be able to help you out as well to ask your destination, to ask your dream, to study at the UK university. We hope you will stay home, stay safe, and thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.